It seems that people don't even put effort to drag and drop stuff. Of course, they drag and drop them from the store into their game. Today we are going to check out a game, an asset flip of course, that has positive reviews. Let's look at Burst Squad. What is this all about? Well, it says here it's an online multiplayer FPS game. It earns points by killing enemies and be the best of you. But the question is, how does it have all of these positive reviews? Well, let's find out. By the way, by just looking around at pictures, you might see some familiar faces and that's well because this game heavily uses assets from the Unreal Store. For example, this sci-fi environment, which is of course the modular sci-fi season 1 environment. As you can see, they are the same and if you don't believe it, I'm, I'm checking this platform out. And of course, you can see this exact platform, it's in the game at same location. Probably they just downloaded this package, by the way, this package is free. So probably they just downloaded the package and called it a day. But what does the, what makes this game stand out into having all of these positive reviews? Which is really strange because usually asset flips come to a negative review. So yeah, if, if you check the price here, of course, it's really cheap as usual. And if you go onto YouTube and look for gameplay videos, we'll find out that only TSM channel, which basically, if I go check this channel, it plays all the games um, that are getting released on Steam. So um, yeah, basically this is the purpose of this channel, but of course the developer doesn't have any videos related to this game. So that's really interesting, right? Going back to the page, of course, it's an early access game. So as usual, you will see early access games. Why is this early access? Because our game is under construction, we will improve our game more with new maps and new weapons. How long will this game stay in early access? Well, one or two years. A more stable game, more weapons. Um, currently, there are two maps in the game. Okay, that's interesting. And keep in mind the fact then that one or two years, yeah? So the developer, Weakfish Studio, stated that the game is gonna take uh, one to two years. But let's check out the comments and see what's really interesting about them. So of course we have the about and as you can see the description is super generic. They don't even capitalize the letters at the start of each sentence and they, they clearly did not do any copywriting, a proper copywriting on this game. So this is another trigger for us of course that will make us believe if this is an asset flip or not. But let's continue. We are greeted with this first negative review and probably this is the only negative review this game has. It says two levels, one is capture points, free for all, uh, I think, and then you get um, what you pay for, yeah, of course the price. Uh, also look at other reviews for this game, tell me what you see common, they all are written in similar direction and structure. Paid for friends and developer, well, we'll go and actually check them and see them in detail. I'm just gonna browse through the reviews and see how they look off. So right off the bat we can see that some of them start with first of all. First of all, first of all, let me just quickly check. So the first of all two reviews start, oh actually there are more reviews that start with first of all. So they might be using a similar template and it's quite common for people to buy reviews in these days. I mean, this is something completely new, so uh, nobody expected this. But first of all, it's a five day old game. I've played it knowing this. I only played it in single player mode because there is no multiplayer. Well, I mean, what did you expect? I mean, probably a lot of games these days are at least with multiplayer and they are dead on arrival. So that's natural. Graphics in the game as as same in the video. There are three game modes. Pros, nice graphics. Yeah, of course, that's the only pro. Cons, not enough players for the multiplayer mode. Of course, it's because it's dead on arrival. What did you expect? Not enough maps. Of course, not enough content. It's an asset flip. You have to do with what you can get from asset store. Again, the game is too early to, for making some real examination. I'll give it a bit more time. I'm sure the developers will improve the game. Yeah. So for this, like you have more cons than pros, but you still opt to give it a nice uh, recommended review. Plus you have 0.0 hours 
and four hours uh, on record. So probably you just, you might have been paid or you are a friend. Let's actually check this profile. Vodka, this seems like a person because uh, you don't have a fake profile with um, these many games. But as you can see, this person clearly plays a lot of games and especially shooters like Counter-Strike, like Cyberpunk, like Dying Light. And um, let's move on to some other reviews. First of all, all the graphics are great and I really like it. And it's smooth and well optimized. Yeah, of course, they are using Unreal Engine, so they might be looking better than Unity games uh, right out of the bat. Uh, but AI is just straight up trash. And actually, here in this comment, Big Fry um, made a video and he showed how trash the bot is and um, we'll see later on in another comment that actually someone praises the AI which is funny because how can you give a recommended review if bot AI is trash and you don't have any multiplayer so um, in the space map you can easily camp stairs and when they come from the same path every single time yeah yeah it's it's kind of like it looks like they might have been been using an asset for this um but has a lot of potential and, uh, and again we will come back to this with the potential and um of course working on it right burst squad is an online fps game it has fun and dynamic graphics i don't know what dynamic means or fun graphics but yeah i mean a fun game might be a dynamic game might be but uh, dynamic graphics I don't know and it gives you the opportunity to spend a very enjoyable time with your friends well you might but the game is not so good so you probably would be better playing something else burst squad is a nice game by itself as well as having very enjoyable time when you play it with your friend hmm does this look similar to the other one well it's because probably they are bought together or they have the same friends which says hey guys you can just like use this template. Pros, soldiers are clever. Yeah, right. And somebody else in another review said like the AI is trash. So is it one or the other? I don't know. It, it Graphics are not bad. Yeah, well, they are not good as well. But yeah, they're just asset flips. So we don't care. Enjoyable. Yeah, weapons are very good. You don't understand how time passes while playing. My rating for this game is 10 out of 10. Yeah, it might be the best first person game I have played so far. Oh. This statement requires analysis. The best first person, let's see what other first person shooter that this person have played that they can say clearly that is the best first person game that they played. So Counter-Strike, yeah, well, this game Burst Squad is much better than Counter-Strike. Let's see another one. Player on Battlegrounds, yeah, for sure. Sniper Elite for Rainbow Six Siege. So yeah, all of these games, but they're trash compared to Burst Squad, which is probably the best first person game that this person played so far. This game is only beta version, but I think it is a very good game. It's smooth graphics, so a lot of praises for their graphics. Like they're smooth, they're fun. Over time, you can be adding more maps. So yeah, probably using Google Translate on this, I don't know. I think the game will be over time. Yeah, the game will be over time. I'm sure of it. Um, this game has excellent fluidity and is excellent. Yeah, it's, it's just excellent. I can tell you this. It's excellent. You can go and buy it and uh, you can buy it one for your friend because otherwise you will play of uh, bots that kill you on site. Therefore, it is a perfect game. If you want, we definitely recommend you to play this game. We can play together. The character feels great when shooting, when running, bending or bending. Bending or bending, yeah, so it's clearly just copy-paste, probably this person hasn't even written the review or not written it in English, at least, um, or something perfect, I really want to play uh, my own style. Burst Squad, online multiplayer FPS game, Air points be the best, I recommend the game. Yeah, so basically this review is just a copy-paste of the description of the game. First of all, hello guys, you can play the game in single mode or multiple ways, classic First person shooter game. There are two maps and you're trying to capture three regions. Graphics are also very nice. Yeah, of course, of course they're nice. Burst Squad is a first person game where you can spend time with your friends as PvP, laugh and have moments full of action. I definitely recommend that you buy. The price is very affordable. By the way, did I mention that this game came with a discount for, for the initial price, which was less than $2, it came with a discount. So we, we will see some packages that have been used in this game which probably the developers don't even make the money out of them of course if if they haven't ripped off the packages so that might be also another explanation this game is a first person shooter game graphics are fine gameplays could be improved bots play 
just like a real player, yeah, just like a real player, yeah. It's difficult to kill them. The map and model designs are very good. I believe this game will develop more, yeah, I'm sure of it. Um, the variety, there are bugs in the game, but it's, it's not important because it's an early access, worth your money, yeah. I'm sure it definitely it's worth your money. So yeah, these are the reviews for Burst Squad, but it's interesting because there's only one negative review. So that might trigger something because while these are clearly real people, they might be A, friends of the developers or developers of multiple accounts, though having more games in their account means that they clearly are not the developers. And second, they might be people outsourced from Fiverr for example with bot reviews but yeah not not even like from the official developer a YouTube page so that's really interesting yeah right looking at the assets that are used they have been using FPS multiplayer template in uh, Unreal Engine and it's $90 so it's it's not a cheap package so they might have been ripping it off or might have bought it but it, it's crazy I mean like it's $90 and in, in, Steam has the $100 tax for if you want to um, publish a game on Steam, so it's already $200. And of course the modular sci-fi season 1 starter bundle, which is free, so that's a plus. The other map with cubes, I, I could not find where they got it, but I'm sure they got it somewhere. I'm wondering if this map was used as is or they changed it. I highly suspect that they just imported the asset, placed in the players and the AI and called it a day. And then if you say, okay, but maybe this game will have improvements, right? So um, if you check the recent announcements and says, hey, new burst squad update. Hello, dear players. I'd like to introduce you a new update to give you a much better experience. As our team, we have added a new map to the burst squad game. Seems like they just added a new map, which is really nice. I mean, some people complain that there are a few maps in the game. But what's, what's really interesting is the fact that at the same time, on the Epic Store, the supermarket asset was made free the, the same month. So is this a coincidence? Please tell me in the comments below. But yeah, the same asset, the exact same asset. And not only this, I think they, they haven't changed the layout or anything. I mean, they just copy pasted or they just imported the asset and placed it into their game. And if you are wondering, do they have an actual YouTube channel? Well, the developers do have a YouTube channel and this is the most interesting part. They just released the game on the 5th of February 2021 and they made zero promotional material, zero marketing for their game, Yeah, which is crazy. I mean, and here, one week ago, they have a new game in works called Warfield. And what's funny about this game is the fact that they also have a Steam page for it. And it's stated to release on 2021 March. How can they make two games in parallel if making one game is extremely hard? Well, probably it's one or two developers. I don't know the number, but it doesn't matter. Probably this is going to be another asset flip, which we'll come back to this when it comes out but uh, yeah what's what's interesting is that they haven't finished one game and they started creating their second one i'm looking forward to see how burst squad turns out but it seems the developers already have a future plan and that is to release another game probably to make some money that they lost with releasing the first one i don't know but it's just crazy how many games these people can churn over uh, the course of a really short time period like a couple of months and um, of course people actually some people might expect that they will bring updates and make that game solid or or they might even what i've seen also people just um releasing the game as finished and the game didn't have any change but probably in their mind the game is actually finished so uh, what else to add to the game well make it enjoyable make it fun not just put some assets i mean they, they don't even bother to change the layout of these assets. So they just hit the download button and they put them into, into their game and call it a day. Well, no, that's not how you make a game. I mean, if you're using assets, well, you take stuff from it and then create something new with them. That doesn't mean asset flipping. What asset flipping means you just take assets, put them like directly into your game without putting any effort whatsoever to create unique art or unique level design or whatever it is specialty. I'm not saying you should be best at everything, of course, or you don't have time 
or skills to do everything. But of course, the, the easiest thing that one can do is level design. I mean, this is how modding community started and a lot of people started with modding stuff because that was the easiest thing to do. You just drag and drop stuff. But it seems that people don't even put the effort to drag and drop stuff. Of course, they drag and drop them from the store into their game. If you like this video, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel.